Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work on solving this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. Ben has three times as many shirts as his dad. Together, they have 24 shirts. How many shirts does each have? Okay, so that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I want to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to uh, hit that like and subscribe button, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go to take a look at the answer here. So Ben has three times as many shirts as his dad. Together they have three, uh, 24 shirts. How many shirts does each have? Well, the correct answer is the following. The dad has uh, six shirts and Ben has 18 shirts. Okay, now if you figure this out, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. You can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in mathematics and figuring out basic math word problems. Now, notice that I didn't say this is an algebra uh, word problem. Then say, hey, figure out this algebra word problem. Now, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem because algebra is such a powerful tool, but you didn't necessarily have to use algebra to figure the answer out. Matter of fact, if you didn't use algebra, that is um, outstanding, okay, because it showed me that you didn't give up and you kind of reasoned through and figured this thing out because we have, um, you know, we're dealing with shirts here. We're not uh, dealing with uh, values that can be like 1.3. We can't have 1.3 shirts or two-fifths of a shirt. Of course, you could cut a part of a shirt off, but, you know, we're dealing with nice integer whole values here, so you could just kind of run different combinations. So if Ben has three times as many shirts as a dad, if the dad has one shirt, then Ben would have to have three, but together this doesn't add up to 24. So you could just kind of run through various combinations. So if you use common sense and trial and error, that's fantastic. If you used algebra, that is great as well. But uh, this uh, problem is a perfect kind of uh, example problem, or kind of an introductory level problem to see how powerful algebra is. So let's go ahead and get going here. Of course, there's various ways to solve this problem, but I will be using algebra. Okay, so we have a math word problem, and the first thing you want to do is always use the rule of three. In other words, read a problem at least three times before you, you know, really uh, start doing anything in terms of writing out uh, uh, steps or equations. Make sure you understand the question and, you know, really assimilate all the details in the problem. So the question here is, how many uh, does each have? So how many shirts does each have? So when you're looking for, we look looking to answer a question, a math question that says how many of something, well, that's an unknown value. And that's almost a perfect clue that this could uh, be solved nicely with algebra, okay? Because we have things in algebra that are called variables, x, y, z, for example, and these represent an unknown value or a specific value. So we could use a variable here to model the unknown, and of course, I'm going to be doing that, but before um, we actually establish a variable for an unknown value here, what you want to do is try to model the situation, and you know, there's various uh, ways you can do that. So let me go ahead and show you my little model, okay? So you want to, again, try to see the problem, visualize it, and this is basically what's going on here. So here is the dad, and here is Ben. So Ben has three times as many shirts, because listen, Ben is young, he's got to go out and about, he's got to impress his friends with all his nice shirts. The dad, you know, maybe someone like my age, hey, you know what? <laughs> As long as the shirt is nice and clean and presentable, you know, and of course, I'm speaking for myself. Maybe uh, some uh, dads out there have more shirts than their kids. But anyways, the dad has a certain amount of shirts, but Ben has three times as many. So how many shirts does a dad have? Well, we don't know. That's an unknown value. So if we just say, well, we'll let X equal the number of shirts that dad has. 
Well, if the dad has X number of shirts, then Ben has 3X number of shirts. So we'll go ahead and establish these variables right now. We'll let X equal the number of shirts the dad has and 3X equals the number of shirts uh, Ben has. Now, we have to go back to the problem because it doesn't do us any good to just to have um, these variables. So we have x and 3x. So x and 3x, of course, we're looking to solve what these um, amounts are. But we can't um, determine the value of a variable unless we can construct an equation. Okay, And of course, this is going to be very easy because we have this part of the problem. Together, they have 24 shirts. So if this is the number of the shirts, uh, the dad has, this is the number of shirts uh, Ben has, and together they have 24 shirts. Well, hopefully uh, this is pretty easy to see that we can build a lovely equation right here. So x plus 3x is equal to 24. Again, x is the number of the shirts, number of shirts the dad has. Uh, 3x is Ben's uh, shirts. So x plus 3x is 24. And at this point, we have a simple linear algebraic equation. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take uh, the next step, which is to solve this basic equation for x. And then, of course, uh, the answer will be apparent. So let's go ahead and take that next step, which, of course, is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you want to um, kind of show uh, some support for what I do, now, I'm only asking for your support so I can reach people like yourself and other people that might need help in mathematics. Okay, This is the whole idea behind my channel is to try to connect with people that aren't getting the math instruction that they need to be successful in math. I mean, so many people are frustrated in math. They're like, I don't like math. I'm bad at math. I want to quit on math. I don't want to, you know, this is not good, okay? And unfortunately, you know, I've been teaching for decades and decades. I have talked to so many uh, people that have, um, you know, had such a bad experience with math 40, 50 years ago. They can remember when you know uh, some teacher told them that they were bad in math or they got frustrated, they just didn't get the right support that they needed, and they kind of you know uh, didn't pursue their dreams. Okay, a lot of people said, ah, "I wanted to be an engineer, but I quit because I thought I was bad in math." So I'm trying to prevent that. I'm telling you right now, 99% of you out there can be outstanding in math. There are no shortcuts, but you need great math instruction. So, anyways, by you subscribing. It really does help that YouTube algorithm push my content out. If you're going to subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. But um, listen, I don't want to take up too much of our time here, but th this is why I you know, have my YouTube channel, is to reach as many people as I, I possibly can. And every subscriber, to me, I look at as my student. Okay, so thanks uh, for listening to my little commercial here. Let's continue on with the problem. All right, so here we have x plus 3x is equal to 24 again. We need an equation, okay, to solve for the variable. Just because we have these variables, we don't have an equation. We can't solve for the variable. So here we have x plus 3x. Again, x is the dad's number of shirts. 3x is Ben's number of shirts, but together they have 24. So this is going to be a very simple equation to solve. Uh, right, so we got x and th or we have 1x. Let me go ahead and just make this super clear. So when you have x by itself, just in case uh, some of you didn't know, there is a 1 in front of that x. Okay, So if I have y, that's actually 1y, but we don't typically typically write a 1. Okay, But that's what they call, a, that's what's called a coefficient. So we have like terms here, 1 and 3, so this is going to be 4x. We can add these like terms. So 4x is equal to 24, so how do we solve 4x? Easy, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 4, and we have x is equal to 6. Now, if you're a little bit rusty on basic algebra, let me give you a couple quick suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel on all things basic math up to advanced math, like calculus, everything in between. But if you need um, actual, you know, more instruction, you know, like full on instruction and you want my best instruction, today is the last day I'm running a 50% off sale. It is a fantastic opportunity for some of you to kind of get into my best courses. You'll find... Uh, uh, all of the links and uh, the uh, coupon code, all that stuff, because I don't want you to um, uh, to lose out on this particular opportunity. It's a sale I run about once a year. But anyways, uh, you know, take advantage of that or of my additional videos on my YouTube channel. Okay, so x is equal to 6, but what does that mean? Well, we have to go back to our model here. 
Remember we said we're going to let x equals the number of dad's shirts, so we can't uh, fail to answer the question. Just because we solved the equation, we now need to answer the question, so x is equal to 6. Again, x was what uh, the number of shirts the dad uh, has, so that's 6. And 3x, now that we know that x is 6, so 3 times 6 is the number of shirts Ben has, which of course is 18, and 6 plus 18 is 24. This all makes sense. Okay, so hopefully you can see how easy it is to solve a problem like this using algebra. But again, if you looked at this problem and just kind of reasoned through it because you were like, hey, I don't know, you know, you're not thinking in terms of algebra, but you're like, I could solve this, you know, I can, you know, I have the common sense and, you know, logic uh, to solve this. And that is, that is fantastic, right? That's what you should always do because math, okay, math problems can be solved in a variety of ways. And that's where there's kind of a creative process here. So for those of you that didn't use algebra but still solve this problem, again, fantastic. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.